district back with the funded project here. We are here with George today at AJ's Cafe in Sheridan, Indiana. We're going to talk to him a little bit about everything that's going on over here. We're looking forward to this because uh, we're also going to spotlight something new too. Uh, George is this week's winner for, uh, he's going to get a free promotional video for his social media to be able to bring some more traffic into his uh, restaurants here. So we're looking forward to it. So we're here with George today. George, uh, tell me a little bit about AJ's. Uh, AJ's a little small family diner. Uh, started out in fall of 2019. Uh, kind, of a, kind of got thrown into my lap. I uh, saw cars before this. Uh, I have a culinary background. Uh, also a reserve officer here at Sheridan. Uh, kind of got thrown into my lap there. Very cool, very cool. So uh, as we all have been through this past year, and uh, this episode right now, we're taping this right here the first week of March. And last year, the first week of March, is when they started doing all the lockdowns with COVID and everything else, too. So, I mean, that was, nobody had that in a business plan, obviously. We discussed this in other episodes. How did that affect your business? I definitely affected us. Um, we went down to uh, carry out only. Um, that's kind of when the news and everything was doing everybody to be home, stay at home, stay at home, and don't go out from Bristol. So we we saw we're going from about seven thousand a week and probably down to about a thousand, maybe two fifteen hundred a week and just to go some people weren't coming out. Uh, so a little bit after that we kinda of closed down uh, for about three weeks. We closed. Uh, we opened back up right at the beginning of April, kinda of launched some uh, meat packaging and stuff like that, uh, fresh meats and steaks. People were spending time at home. Uh, so it's time to grill out. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Yeah. so we took in some prime opportunity on that and kind of made it from around that. But yeah, it definitely was, it was rough, very rough. It definitely was. You know, back in 2020, over 100,000 restaurants across the country shut down because of COVID and the lucky ones survived. And it seems like you've got a pretty big community following right here. Yeah, it's pretty good. I mean, it's a small town, about 2,800 people throughout the summer. It's in fact about 2,300 throughout the winter time. So, I mean, a small town, so only a few handful of restaurants, unless you drive out to Westfield, it's about five miles drive. So, I mean, keeping, keeping people satisfied here is what we want to do, keep our customers here. It's been pretty good. You know, and honestly, it's not that far from Westfield or Noblesville or even Indianapolis or Anderson or Cuthbert. And uh, there's not a lot of these smaller, independently owned diners that are left anymore. Um, so it's nice to be able to go ahead and get away from the major chains and that's what we believe here at the Funded Project is standing up for small businesses, giving them the resources and the tools and everything that they need to be able to compete with big ones. So, and, and it's necessary too. And, uh, Main Street is an issue uh, for a lot of these companies. The thing is that we have to support our Main Street businesses uh, because, like I've mentioned before, they are friends and neighbors. So this is not all this money stays in this community. It's not like it's going to someplace else across seas or something. It, it stays here. You, you live in this community too, correct? Uh, I don't live here. I don't live. I live in a so I'm not too 40 minutes away, but okay. Uh, but I'm a so reserve officer here as well. Man. Yeah, so I mean, reserve police officer in town, and it also, I mean, it does stay in. It stays in the state of Indiana. So, I mean, but the moral of the story is, is that it stays locally in our communities. Yeah. And it's employing people locally. All right, so some of the, tell me about your menu, about some of the specialties that you're known for. Uh, we sell, so our portions are pretty big. Uh, people know that, we serve a, a lot of food. Uh, some people try to shy away from the price, it's always expensive, that's expensive, but uh, once they see that what they're getting, the bang for your buck is what you're getting. Uh, everything we make here is mostly scratch. Uh, we use fresh beef. We make things. Uh, burgers are fresh, half-pound burgers, chicken, 
the uh, better on fish and chips. Our fish and chips are very popular right now during the season. Um, our chip with your hamburger, our chicken wings as well. Uh, so those are, those are very popular. Um, but I just kind of throw, with my culinary background, man, everything from fine dining to bar pubs. So I try to use a little bit of my uh, knowledge and skill from that. It's kind of great for the game to the community that they haven't had before or seen before. You mentioned about your culinary background. What kind of culinary background do you have? Uh, I've been cooking. I've been uh, cooking since I was 14 years old. Started off in Indiana. I was at the Indianapolis Zoo at Crystal Cater. Uh, ended up going to Johnson Wills University in Providence, Rhode Island. I have a dual degree in food service management and culinary arts. Uh, I've been everywhere from uh, Rock Bottom Brewery to Performing and Schmitz uh, Seafood in downtown attached to the hill. Uh, I'm on catering, getting to do catering. I mean, I kind of do, I do everything. Concessions, whatever you name it. It has something to do with food and drinks, so I take care of it. Very neat. It's very neat. So, what, what would you consider your signature dish? Um, uh, signature dish, I mean... Everybody's got one. You know, there's always one that you're like, I do this better than anybody else. I know I do. See, I, I don't... I make things look good better than anybody else. I like to decorate. Um, I guess... A signature, I don't really have a, I don't have a signature. I just, I just, I just cook. Okay. Um, I, I kind of... People can tell, like, I mean, if you have an open kitchen here, so people can tell, like, when I'm in the zone, like, they'll say, hey, George, now I'm going to start whistling. I don't really talk. I just whistle. You ever see me kind of zipping back and forth in the kitchen, and they know that I'm the ADC needs group. So, signature dish, we don't have one. It's like make food look good on the plate. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure there's a, I, I, there's a lot of people that say the food is very good all the way. Just a lot of all of A lot of future people come back and see it. And so, you know, and actually not that far from Noblesville and Westfield, it's definitely worth a try because unfortunately as we get closer to Indianapolis, there's a lot of these smaller restaurants that are just not in existence. And um, it's sad to see uh, because the big chain restaurants, you lose that, uh, that whole heartfelt part of it versus when you're dealing with the cook that's in the kitchen that doesn't really care, they're just there for paycheck. He's there because he wants to be, and it shows him his food. So, and that's a big deal. Yeah, a lot of people don't realize how big of a deal it is until you go into a restaurant that's displayed to you, and then you realize uh, what you've been missing the whole time. So definitely worth the trip. So uh, tell us a little bit about that. One of our uh, friends over there at Circle City Magazine mentioned something about he did for somebody in the community, a gentleman that came into the restaurant. Or? Yeah, it's a, a gentleman, uh, his name is John. Uh, he comes in, he's a single gentleman, he's a uh, Vietnam vet um, over there cooking and shooting. He was actually a, a cook in the Army um, over in Vietnam. Uh, but he's just on a little hard time, didn't have a lot of family around to help him. Um, so we're just trying to get him situated and get him taken care of as far as housing. Uh, he has a trailer that he, that he lives in, but it's just not really, it's not habitable. So not we're happy. just spending time to to get him where he needs to be, the VA involved and things like that, to make sure he's taken care of the rest of his life. That's really awesome. Yeah, that's really awesome. And especially, uh, you know, when you've had struggles, but you're still reaching out and helping the community. Absolutely. And uh, nobody can requires you to do that, but you chose to do that because of the cards. So. Absolutely. I mean, he, he spends a lot of time here. You know, he's here two to three times a day, uh, every day of the week, except for Saturday or Sunday, because we're closed. Um, he would be probably here Saturday for dinner, but we're closed for dinner on Saturday. But he's here three times a week. Three times a day, so six days a week. It's really awesome. But the Funda Project's going to do something pretty special for you. We are going to produce an AI animated, and we're going to produce a video for you that you can use on your social media. Um, it's one of those uh, like social media commercials. I know everybody has been seeing it all over the place, pop up all over the place. Uh, those usually sell for $1,000. We're giving you one of those for your charge. We're also covering the cost of your advertising cost for it you know, for the next year. In the Circle City Magazine, we get listed in the business services listing. That usually sells for $100 a month, and uh, we're getting paid for it here for it for you. Uh, so no cost to you, no commitment, no nothing. We just want to reach out. You know, tell you that we appreciate you hanging in there, you know, fighting for small businesses and everything else. So that's pretty awesome. So.
Yeah, so he said he didn't have a signature dish, and I think he does, because if this isn't a signature dish, I'm not all the way sure what is. Seriously, <laughs> folks. But wait, and there's this one. What'd you order right now? That's the breakfast sandwich? Yeah, with bacon. Oh my goodness. Let's see what we got coming here. Let's see what we got coming on. <laughs> Hold on, yeah. Remember, he said he gives you know you what? Food. Yeah, if you're watching this video, I, I gotta tell you, I love what I do for a living because I can go around and continue being a fat guy. My wife's trying to put me on a diet, but um, we all see how well this is gonna work today, right? <laughs> Wait until you see Dave's when it comes out. Oh my goodness. Yes. Are you a business owner with a story to tell? Here's your chance. Submit your story for free, no purchases necessary, open to U.S. businesses only. Five lucky business owners will be spotlighted in our 4th of July episode of The Funded Project. But that's not all. Those five lucky business owners will also take home cash and prizes as well as a nationwide spotlight. So here's your chance. Submit your story at thefundedproject.com. That's www thefundedproject.com. Submit your one to two minute video along with your business bio and the top five businesses with the most votes wins. We give you a customized link that you can share with your family, your friends, and your customers. So don't wait. Go into right now www.thefundedproject.com. Once again, www.thefundedproject.com. If you do not own a business and you're watching this video, be sure to go and vote at www.thefundedproject.com for your favorite business. And hit the subscribe and like button. Don't forget to hit the bell. Show your support together. We can save Main Street. We appreciate you watching. Thank you.